Lesson 10.2a, Evaluating Algebraic Expressions. We've learned that algebraic expressions contain one or more variables. We can substitute a number for that variable and then find the value of that expression. This is called evaluating the expression. Evaluate each expression for the given value of the variable. What does that mean? Uh, this means we need to substitute the given value of the variable for the variable in the expression. So here we have an expression, n plus 4, and the given value is that n is equal to 6. And you can see we have a semicolon here, and it separates the expression from the given value of the variable. We substitute the 6 for the n, and we add 6 plus 4. So when n is equal to 6, n plus 4 is equal to 10. So it's telling us to evaluate for the given value of the variable. We have a 20 over an x. We know this means 20 divided by x. And it's telling us that x is equal to 4. So we substitute 4 for the x, and we divide. 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5. When x is equal to 4, 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5. Here we have a decimal. We have 2 tenths a. a is our variable. And it's telling us that a is equal to 1 and 3 tenths. So we substitute 1 and 3 tenths for the variable a. It's directly next to the 2 tenths. So we multiply. And we can stack them vertically to multiply if that'll help us. So we do 1 and 3 tenths times 2 tenths. And we get 26 hundredths. Remember, we have one, two jumps in the equation, so there's going to be two decimal jumps in the product. We know it's equal to 26 hundredths. Here we have 8y. It's telling us that y is equal to 1 fifth, so we substitute 1 fifth for the y. And the variable y is directly next to the 8, so we multiply. We can write the 8 over a 1 and multiply straight across. We have 8 fifths. We can simplify that to 1 and 3 fifths. A coefficient is a number that is multiplied by the variable in an algebraic expression. So this 2 tenths decimal is the coefficient, and a is our variable. Here we have 8y. The 8 is the coefficient, and the y is the variable. The coefficient is directly next to the variable. Coefficients can be positive or negative. They can be positive or negative whole numbers. Like here we have 5 as our coefficient. We have 5n. Here we have a negative 5n. They could be positive or negative decimals. Here we have 7 hundredths times y. Here we have negative 7 hundredths times y. They can be positive or negative fractions. We have 1 fourth x. Here we have negative 1 fourth x. They are directly next to the variable and are multiplied by the variable. And we'll work with negative coefficients in seventh grade. It's telling us to evaluate each expression given that x is equal to 2. Well, we know we need to substitute 2 for x. We have 15x. That means we have 15 times 2. And 15 times 2 is equal to 30. Here we have 1 third x. So we know we're going to multiply 1 third times 2. We can multiply the 1 third times 2 by writing the 2 over a 1 and multiplying straight across. We have 1 times 2 for our numerator, and we have 3 times 1 for our denominator. It's equal to 2 thirds. Here we have 8 divided by x. We substitute the 2. 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. We've evaluated each expression given that x is equal to 2. We've finished the first part of this lesson. We're going to move on to the second part, using the order of operations to evaluate expressions. Have a great day, and I hope you'll join me for next time. Hit that like button for me if you can. It lets me know you understood. Bye.